Hilarion made an interesting comment recently. You are in the process of reconnection with your god-goddess aspects of the divine within you. As you do this deep work upon yourselves, there will be many moments of spontaneous feelings of joy that burst forth, seemingly out of nowhere. This is the process of recalibration and reconnection with the purity and innocence that is at the core of your true nature. Allow and enjoy these fleeting moments and store these feelings of oneness and unity with all that exists in this world, so that you might utilize those moments and build upon those feelings, for it is these feelings which are creating the new paradigm of your new world. 1. Hilarion says these moments are part of the process of recalibration and reconnection with the purity and innocence that is at the core of your true nature. We heard Jesus say earlier that the predominant feeling tones in the center of our being are stillness, compassion and quiet joy. As you release the energies of fear and judgment more and more, you become more quiet and open inside. You truly enter another world, another plane of consciousness. 2. To my way of seeing things, joy and bliss are the same divine element of our being. But notice the conjunction of events indicated by these comments. If I can rephrase them to make the point, stabilize our sense of being in the center and we reconnect with the divine aspects of ourself. This center is the core of our true nature. It is the seat of the soul. It is the exit point of the wheel of karma and the entrance to other, higher planes of consciousness. But Hilarion goes further and says that it is these feelings which are creating the new paradigm of your new world. We knew this, did we not? That our taking up of the divine qualities such as bliss, unity, and quietude, openness, balance, and centeredness are what are themselves creating the new paradigm. But here is confirmation from our sources in this case, Hilarion and Jesus. Like so many of the masters, Hilarion tells us that what we are going through at the moment is a two-step process of letting go of one thing and opening to another. He recommends that we keep a journal of what we learn as a means of helping us remember our greater selves. As you uncover more of what has been keeping you from moving forward with zest, with passion and vitality, be willing to allow the insights to flow through you as you recognize and observe the patterns that have kept you a prisoner in your own consciousness. Keep a journal and record these gems of inspiration and insight. They are keys to unlock the doors to your greater remembrance. What Hilarion calls patterns that keep us from moving forward I have called Vasanis, our reaction patterns born of earlier traumatic incidents. These are what bend the twig and incline the tree. I'm willing to be that the blissful moments that so many of us are reporting at this time are an indicator of how we're emerging from these patterns and into the light, as so many sources call it. We're primarily involved in a process of letting go of the old and embracing the new, and this is itself the work of building Nova Earth. There's not much work involved in embracing bliss. Love, bliss, joy are all magnetic in their attractiveness. Simply feeling them captivates and captures us. We're led, as it were, by something irresistible to want more of them. Bliss is the original by Piper, behind whom the children of God line up and dance. Let's reinforce our understanding of the matter by listening to what the great masters have said about this joy or bliss that Hilarin speaks of. The Buddha said that the highest reality is an exalted state of bliss. 3. The Upanishads say that Brahman or God is pure bliss. 4. When one's true nature is known. Sri Ramana Maharshi tells us Then there is being without beginning and end, it is unbroken awareness bliss. 5. The self abides in the heart or Ridayam. It's known as pure bliss, as Shankara tells us When all the five coverings are removed, the pure Atman or Self is revealed as God dwelling within, as unending, unalloyed bliss, as the supreme and self-luminous being. 6. Sri Ramana is even more direct. Your nature is bliss. He says, wasting no words on the matter. 7. So the fact that people are reporting moments of bliss, and the fact that the Masters are discussing the matter with us, is not a trivial event, but a marker, an indicator, a sign of the times. To be experiencing bliss, as we are, is an indication that we are moving onward and upward. It's an indication that we are briefly touching the essence of ourselves. Archangel Michael has told us many times that the truest indicator of our progress is what's happening within ourselves. And these moments of love, bliss, and joy are important and significant evidence that we are moving toward that full restoration. 
that he talks about. You are being flooded. That is why you are feeling so much. The end is the when the full restoration, the complete restoration and the jubilation, the full restoration of vision and the knowing of your interdimensional self is fully there. Now it is already there for some of you. It is coming by degrees. 8. So, far from losing hope that we did and to send on 21 12 12, what we need to do is to see that the process of ascension, now revealed as being gradual, is going forward, and that we are right on target for the unveiling of ourselves in full restoration.